this video will be seeing how to implement shared preferences in Android. I have created a new project. Now I'll be creating two buttons and a text view to show the demo of this. So let's go to resources, layout, activity, main, XML. Let's go to the split mode and let's change the parent layout to linear. Let's give the orientation to vertical and also give the gravity center. Now let's add a text view and two button views. Let's give ID for the text view and both buttons. You can see I have added a text view and two buttons. When we click the button write data, the data will be written into the shared preference. And when we click the button read data, the data inside the shared preference, which we have stored will be read and displayed to the text view. So let's implement the Java part. Go to main activity Java. Now let's create objects for the two buttons and the text view. Let's initialize the text view. Just like this, let's create the objects for two buttons and initialize them. Now we have to add on click listener for both the buttons. Now we have added on click listener to the button right and also to the button read. Now when we click the button right, this button, we will have to write the data into shared preference. First of all, let's create two dummy variables. Let's say username and email and we will be storing this data to the shared preference. Now let's write the code to write into shared preferences. We'll be storing the username and email, the test username and email into the shared preference. Let's create an object for shared preference. Now we have created the object for shared preference and named it shared preference name. Now you can name it according to your wish. And we have set the mode, the access mode to private. Application can only access the shared preference data. Now let's create an object for editor. Now we have created an object for editor. Now you can store the demo values to the shared preferences. So for that editor dot put string. Here you have to give the name for the variable that we are storing. So here we are storing the username first. So let's give it username. Next we have to give the value. So here you can see the name of the variable will be like username. When you try to access it you will be accessing it with this name. Okay. And the value which we will be storing is this variable. Okay. Now you can fetch this from internet or anything. So I'm just showing how to store it into the shared preference. Now let's add the email. 
here you have options for put string, put int, etc. So we are using string right now. Now we have added all the items to the editor. Now we have to apply it or commit it. So for that, now this is the code for storing data into shared preferences. We are storing these two data into a shared preference named shared pref name. Okay. So this much is for writing into shared pref. Now let's see how to read from shared pref. So we are going to the button read on click listener inside that let's create the object for shared preference now here you have to use the same name which you have used while writing into the shared preference okay because we have to read from the same shared preference now you can write this variable creation above like this and remove this part and here also and directly call this variable but right now for this video I am showing it separately so you can understand it a bit more now you don't need editor to read the values from shared preference we only use editor when we write into shared preference now let's read the username and email from the variable let's create a string for username and email to read the username from the shared preference you have to use the shared preference object dot get string since we have stored it as a string you have to use get string now you have to give the name of that particular item we have used username so use the same name now you have to put it simply blank now if you are trying to access an integer value you have to put zero now here we are trying to access a string so you have to put double quotes that's all let's do the same for email you have fetched the values from the shared preference and stored them inside the variable username and email now you can display them inside the text view we have created for that we have to set the text username and email so here you can see we have set the data to the text view username and we have written the username variable now this is the variable which we fetch from the shared preference and this one is a demo variable that we have created uh, this one stores the initial value let's take an example that you are trying to implement login so you get the login users username or id something uh, onto a variable like this now you have to store it to the shared preference so you can use this method to store it to the shared preference and you have to read it in another activity so you can implement this inside the next activity so that's how it works now let's set the text here also let's say writing into shared preference was successful that's all with the implementation let's try running this application now you can see the application has opened you can see the text view which is written status now if you click the write data button it will write the data the demo data which we have given here to the shared preference now the write operation is success now let's try clicking the read data see now you can see the read option is also successful let's add a slash in here so that it will look better now the application has opened again you can click the read and it's still there see now if you want to see I will make some changes to the demo variables let's add one let's run this 
now our demo variables are one test user one test at email.com okay so let's read the data first see now the data stored is the previous data now let's write now write operation is successful let's read now the data is the new data the previous data was overridden so hope you understand how to implement this if you have any doubts you can leave a comment i will respond to every comment if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos if you need the full source code of this video you can get that from this url i'll give that on the description you can check that out